up here today. I am going to tell you a story today. And I'm sure I'll listen in too, and maybe they'll participate. I'm going to tell you a story of a, a wolf and a sheep. Okay? Now, what does the sound does a wolf make? Yeah, a wolf kind of, when you hear a wolf, you go, oh, right? Okay, I want you to make that sound for me, okay? One, two, three. Oh, there you go. Everybody try. One, two, three. Oh, there you go. All right, so I'll give you an indication at that point, okay? Now, I need to let you know that there are parts of the story that are really kind of scary, okay? So don't be too scared. But it, because it, it, you know, because it is about a wolf and a sheep. So, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out so well for the sheep. So, <laughs> all right, okay. Once upon a time, a real time, not an imaginary one, but a real time, there was a wolf, and he was a fat old thing. You see, whenever he wanted to eat, he only had to walk out the door of his cave and look at the sheep that fed right outside. And he I this one or that one, and then he'd go right after it. With almost no struggle at all, he'd take the sheep and he'd eat away. And the more he ate, the bigger he grew, and the bigger he grew, the hungrier he got, and the hungrier he got, the more he ate. And he was a mean old thing. Sometimes he'd just poke his head out of the door just to howl, and he would howl, howl, howl. All the sheep they began to shiver at the very sight of him. And he laughed to himself. He just said, you better be afraid, you stupid sheep, because one of these days, I'm going to eat you. And it won't be nice. Oh, no. It won't be nice at all. <laughs> this big, bad wolf, you see, had a name. It was a name that was filled with fear. The sheep only had, to, only had to think of his name, and they get all wobbly on the knees, and some would even think outright. His name, you see, was Death. And Death was always hungry and never satisfied. Always eating sheep and always wanting more. He was in charge, and all the sheep knew it. Then there came a day he was feeling hungrier than usual. And he poked his head out of the cave door to roar, but he couldn't believe his eyes. Well, right there in front of his door, right at his very doorstep, was the fattest, juiciest sheep he had ever laid eyes on. How dare he, he thought. And he filled his lungs right up, and he let out his stone-splitting howl. And the howl went how? Oh. All the other sheep, they turned tail and ran because they were afraid. All except one sheep that continued to graze calmly just outside his cave. That sheep didn't pay any attention to him at all. Well, that wolf just got madder and madder and madder, and he came bounding up the, out the door and right up to that animal, and he sucked the air into his lungs, and this time he breath, breathed out with really, really, really bad breath. Bad breath. Right in the sheep's face. Well, totally unconcerned, the sheep looked up and blinked as the stinking smell of the wolf's breath, it cooing, was blasted in his face. <coughs> now the wolf, yeah. And now the wolf was giving himself into quite a tizzy. Don't you know who I am, he snarled. And the sheep looked at him in a calm and peaceful voice and said, yes, I know. Well, the other sheep, they started to creep back to watch at a distance. They, they couldn't believe what they were seeing. Well, snarled the wolf, aren't you afraid? And the sheep looked at death, that old wolf, right in the eyes and said, of you? Nah. <laughs> you have got to be kidding. Well, the wolf was so angry that he spoke low and menacing. You're in for it now, lamb chop. I'm going to take you out slowly and painfully. There 
was a moment of silence, and then the sheep said, I know. Well, the other sheep had all been watching because they'd never heard anything like this before. But the moment that the wolf pounced, they turned away. They were filled with great sadness. They had thought, but they had scarcely dared to hope that it was possible just this once, just this once, that the wolf wasn't going to get his way. But their hopes were dashed. <clears throat> it was an awful sight. It was an ugly sight. The wolf chowed down, and in the end, there was nothing left. And he turned his stained face to the other sheep, and he belched. And the other sheep, they all turned tail, and they ran, knowing that he'd be back one day for them soon. When the wolf went back to his cave, he thought he had never tasted a sheep that was quite so good before. It was tender and rich and good, almost as though his never-ending hunger had actually been satisfied for once. And off he went to bed. Well, the next morning, the wolf wasn't feeling quite himself. It was almost like he was getting kind of a tummy ache. But that kind of thing never happened. He always woke up really, really hungry and went off to start eating first thing in the morning. I mean, he had at least a dozen or so feet before the dew was off the grass. But not this morning. His tummy was grumbling, and he was starting to feel really, really sick. He, who had brought so much pain to those poor sheep, well, he was getting a taste of pain himself. And it was not very nice. He kept thinking back to that stupid sheep he'd eaten yesterday. And the one that had tasted so strangely good. Could have been poisoned or something? And for a while, I stopped thinking altogether. The pain was just too great. He rolled around on the floor of his den, and he howled, right? And how did he howl? He went, howled. And he yammered. Now, the sheep out there, they didn't know what, what to make of it all. They, kept cross, they crept cautiously nearer and nearer to the door of his house and turned their heads listening. What could it mean? And then the wolf let out a, another shuddering howl. Ow! Something was alive and moving inside of his gullet. Something that was pushed and poked and prodded until with a sudden burst a hole opened up and something, or rather someone, stepped right out. The figure that stepped out of that wolf's belly was totally unknown to the wolf. Why, it looked like a shepherd. Well, he heard of such a critter, but he never actually met one. The shepherd, with a staff in his hand, he walked around and he, and he stood facing the wolf. And the shepherd began to laugh, and he laughed, and he laughed, and he laughed, and he laughed, and, he laughed, and his laughter burst open the door of the wolf's house. And he laughed, and he laughed, and he laughed, and the sheep were filled with confusion, wondering what was going on there. And he laughed, and he laughed, and he laughed, and he looked that old wolf right in the eye. He said, don't you recognize me? I was the one who ate outside your house three days ago. I was the one you promised would die horribly, and how you kept your promise. What do you propose to do about me now? You? The wolf gasped. Well, the voice was the same. He recognized it. The shepherd was indeed the sheep whom he had swallowed down. <coughs> but you, but you, but, but how? How? And then, and then he howled again. He howled and went, oh. The shepherd smiled and said, well, I think you're pretty harmless now, my friend. Go ahead. Go ahead. Try and eat some of my sheep. I promise you that as fast as you swallow them down, I will lead them right out of that hole I made in your stomach. And you will never be able to touch them ever again. The wolf howled with fear and anger and rage, but there was nothing he could do. The shepherd had tricked him had fooled him good. And the shepherd then stepped out of the door and called all the sheep together. And they knew his voice too. They had heard his voice before. And they stood before the lamb who had become the shepherd. 
they listened as he told them what would happen to them. Oh, that old wolf, he'll come out in a few days and he'll be hungrier than ever and he'll fall you down, but don't worry. Don't ever, ever worry. Because I punched a hole right through his belly and I promise, I promise that I will always bring you out again. Once upon a time, 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give them eternal life, and they will never, ever perish. No one will ever snatch them out of my hand. On Easter Sunday, a few weeks ago, we celebrated that Jesus rose from death, and he broke death's ability to hold on to us. Did you guys know that every Sunday is a little Easter Sunday? Every Sunday. Every Sunday we remember that Christ, the Lamb of God, took our sins upon himself so that we don't ever, ever have to be afraid of sin or death or the power of evil. So let that old wolf snarl and howl all that he will. Because we all know about that hole in the wolf's tummy. We all know about the sheep who is the good shepherd. Our good shepherd. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for coming up.